I'm Storm Tracker AT meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Friday weather forecast. We are looking at, as we head into Mother's Day weekend, a pretty good forecast for the most part. However, though, looking at those headlines, we are tracking at least a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon and early evening hours today. And a few strong to marginally severe storms are possible. I'll talk about that here in just a couple of minutes. Mother's Day itself is going to be warm. It's going to be a little breezy. There could be a couple pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Not a lot of the models are agreeing on that idea, so we'll keep been at a very low end slight chance for that as of now and then next week seasonable temperatures will be around with a few off and on rain chances continuing especially as we get towards the second half of next week so we're going to look at pretty quiet conditions for your morning hours a little chilly and some clouds to the north and west as we head towards late morning and the early afternoon now this is showing a couple of showers passing through early afternoon i really don't think we're going to see much if anything of this reach the ground because we're going to see still some drier air in place but as we get towards about, I would say, 3 o'clock or so, we'll see some showers and storms begin to develop to the north and west. Northwest, about 2 to 3 o'clock, reaching Eau Claire, Stanley, Alma, those areas, sometime between about 4 to 6 p.m., and then it's quickly out of here by about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. Maybe a couple of showers lingering through about 9, 10 o'clock, and then overnight things are going to quiet down, leading to a really nice Saturday. That's one look at future guys. Here's another one, and again, similar idea. We'll see those showers and a few storms developing to the northwest around Rice Lake, New Richmond, Luck around 2, 3 o'clock drifting quickly to the south and east and again should be out of here by about six seven o'clock a couple of pop-up showers and isolated storms continue to the northwest or at least around through about mid-evening and then we're going to quiet things down overnight saturday looks great overall the wind will be a little breezy at times out of the northwest but just a beautiful day nonetheless some clouds saturday night this run of future cast is showing at least a couple of showers maybe a rumble of thunder sunday morning and then we clear out by Sunday afternoon. But again, I can't totally rule out an afternoon or evening shower thunderstorm popping up. So we'll watch things, but it's not going to be a washout by any means. And realistically, most spots will be dry on our Sunday. So today we have a marginal risk, a level one on a level five risk for an isolated strong to severe storm. This is the same risk level that we had back on Tuesday, but the ingredients are not as much there as it was on Tuesday. I mean, again, we didn't really have many warnings, but we had all the ingredients there for at least an all hazards threat of a brief tornado spin up some hail and some wind. This time around, mostly it's going to be some gusty winds between 40 and as high as 60 miles per hour. There could be some small hail up to about dime or nickel size. Size, but the tornado threat is not there. And realistically, the, the risk for severe storms today, I think, is much lower than it was what we had back on Tuesday. But with that being said, we'll still watch things uh, pretty closely. And also, we don't have as much moisture uh, to work with this go around. So we'll watch things as we head into the afternoon. So stay with us for updates. Highs today generally running about 68 to 73 across the area, mid 60s farther to our east. Lows tonight back down into the low to mid 40s, a few of the colder spots in the upper 30s. So I'm not really expecting anything in terms of frost tonight. Maybe farther to the north, up towards, say, Hayward, maybe the Highway 2 corridor. Uh, tomorrow highs mid 60s to the east. Otherwise, most spots again about 68 to 73. And then by Sunday, as the wind turns south to southwest, we're going to have mid to upper 70s to lower to some even maybe reaching the mid 80s. So for a lot of us, this is going to be the warmest day of the year so far, including here in Eau Claire. Our warmest so far is 78, and we're looking at about 82 degrees. And then we'll drop those temperatures back to about 70 for the start of next week, which is about where we should be at this time of the year. Slight chance of a few showers along and south the Highway 10 Monday afternoon, but the better chances for showers and a few storms return towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week.